Microsoft recently came out and talked about some Xbox Series X specifications, and then they went quiet. And then today, it got a lot more interesting. Alright everyone, so today I had a completely different video planned, and that might go out tomorrow or the day after now, because once again, Microsoft came out and just told us everything. And I like this Microsoft, because this entire generation, we haven't seen this style of Microsoft. Microsoft is coming out of the gate confident. And this console is more impressive than it was a few weeks ago. And frankly, this has to be the most exciting generation ahead. Now, I just want to go into detail first and say that this console will be rocking the Zen 2 processor and it will be RDNA 2, which some people did not believe at first. And this console has a lot of cool features. So it can use machine learning to convert SDR games into HDR games. And in the Digital Foundry thing, and I'll post the other links in the description down below, but it was representing heat maps to show what HDR is doing to games. And HDR gaming, gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. You have more colors, more vibrant colors. And frankly, it makes everything look better. And the fact that it's just going to happen automatically for backwards compatible games as well. For free, you're just getting that. And this console, a lot of people have been wondering why is it shaped the way it is. And it features this thing called parallel cooling. And it kind of uses the same method how a tornado works. Kind of. It sucks air up underneath, through the console, throughout the top. And in the mesh above, it's a, it's a, it's filled with a lot of big holes in that console. Like that console is going to be pushing through a lot of air, uh, a lot of power, and it's going to need it as well. And they actually had Gears Five running with no optimization in two weeks, running at 4K 60, ultra high plus settings, and that's just amazing. Like this console is going to make. Gaming next generation, unbelievable. Because the Xbox One X right now, games are gorgeous at 4K, but a lot of games aren't 60 frames. With these specifications, devs shouldn't have much issue with that. Now, one of the things I like is backwards compatibility. Now, you'll be getting your Xbox games, your Xbox 360 games, your Xbox One games, and of course all your new games. Well, optimized games will be happening just like Xbox One games. So right now, if you have some, or, or I should say all OG Xbox games that are backwards compatible, and there's, I think, maybe 20, 360 games running at 4K, and the, the upgrade is outstanding, especially for something like Red Dead Redemption or the Final Fantasy 13 trilogy, look like current generation games well that's going to continue next gen microsoft have said that select xbox one games will get those upgrades so i'm hoping things like maybe batman arkham knight in 4k that would look unbelievable on console now one of the things that microsoft came out and showed us was load times now load times has held games back this generation as you can see on screen right now the xbox series x is no joke. The Xbox Series X can load games ridiculously fast and if you play something like Metro Exodus right now on Xbox One X, look, the game may be gorgeous, it may be 4K, but it certainly loads slow. Won't be an issue next generation. The Microsoft hardware team have clearly gone the distance with this one because I've never seen any architecture like this for anything, even for PCs. And I've seen a lot of PCs being put well, that won't be a problem next generation with these SSDs. Microsoft Hardware Accelerated Ray Tracing. Now, they showed off Minecraft. Minecraft looks unbelievable with Ray Tracing. They can put this into games now and it completely changes how areas look. It completely gives areas new life. A completely different look. It can make Minecraft look from this 
blocky game to something quite gorgeous in the fact that we're going to have hardware underneath the TV that can do that in a console is just impressive and when the Xbox Series X does come out I hope people play Minecraft because seriously the ray tracing is unbelievable now quick resume quick resume right now works for one game and that's if you haven't opened any apps most of the time however next generation that will work for multiple games i've gone over this before however what they haven't said is that depending on what generation you could have even more games loaded up which meaning if you have a bunch of backwards compatible games running well you can just snap them back up and they automatically run it and this is great because if you hop in between games like me it's not going to be an issue so you're going to go from having super fast loading times to virtually none whatsoever if you're using quick resume honestly microsoft they're going beyond the distance with this console and with the machine learning thing is that fans of older games such as Final Fantasy have figured out that machine learning can completely give areas new detail. For instance, Final Fantasy 7, the original, has low quality pre-rendered backgrounds. However, with machine learning, they now run at full HD. And we could potentially see this technology on next generation with previous generation games so we could see potentially xbox 360 xbox one and og xbox games use machine learning to improve environments character details and textures that's one of the most exciting things to me because i didn't think the xbox series x would be capable of machine learning and what an exciting time to be a console gamer because for the first time ever, we're going to have a console capable of ray tracing. We're going to have a console capable of so many things. I mean, machine learning. Like, I'm, I'm so excited to talk about this. Like, I think that next generation for Microsoft is going to be their best console generation yet. And honestly, you can probably tell how excited I am by the tone of my voice. But yeah. I have more videos coming out soon. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, share and subscribe. Share it on social media. I'm out. Hope everyone has a good day.